to get on Facebook Live and run That's around. Right. So we're uh, we're putting the band back together. So yes, we're back in the craft studio. Mom has is feeling better finally. Yeah. Y'all, yeah. thank you for your prayers. Yes. It was just what an adventure is all I got to say. <laughs> but anyway, things are good. Things are good. Things so. are really really good. This and is a beautiful thing you did today. I love it. Yes, we're super excited uh, to share some new. Um, you know, there's, right now, um, we're heading into, we're actually in the thick of fall yes. decorating. Um, I can't believe it's the middle of October. I know. Like, Christmas will be here. Oh. I know. I don't know if you guys are excited, but uh, my daughter and I and are super excited that um, the, it's not this weekend, but I think next weekend, Hallmark Channel starts all the Christmas movies. They love all that. They do. They do. <laughs> so, Mom will drop in and watch some, but we will have it on as often as we can. They love so. it. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, and in fact, I have a fun uh, thing that I just did recently. Um, you know, one of the new, you know, Hallmark Channel releases new movies every season yeah. for Christmas. And one of the new ones that they have coming out is Christmas at Graceland. Oh, well. And I've never been to Graceland before. And I was actually just in Memphis this last weekend. And I made a point to take a trip to Graceland because I wanted to see the house um, she and had then to go try and see Elvis. I had to go see, and so I'm super excited now to see the movie, The Christmas at Graceland, and see how it all comes together. So um, I'll be sharing a post soon uh, about my adventure down in Memphis. It was amazing, um, and going to Graceland was a lot of fun. But today we're going to do a fun craft, and Mom is going to help me by running I'm the going camera. To film, so I'll step out of frame. So she's going to run around and get on camera because. We are a uh, you know two-person team, and I really want you guys to see the fun stuff that we're doing. So please make sure to be telling us if you're watching. We hope you are. S drop us a quick comment and say, "Hey, we're glad to see you guys." Um, you know, leave us a note if you're uh, uh, glad to see Mom back. You know, we just want to totally hear from you. And Facebook rewards us for commenting and sharing. So we hope that you will do that. But today we are going to, I'm going to show you how to make these beautiful decoupage pumpkins. That's so pretty. Isn't so that pretty. gorgeous? And I just love the versatility of this project because if you go into like high end decorating stores, gift stores, things like that, you will see decoupage items like this and they are super expensive. Yes. But you guys, this is such an inexpensive and easy to do project. So this is the kind of thing. Hi, Peggy. Hey, Peggy. Hi, Deborah. So this is the kind of thing that you guys can do. I love it because you can, not only is it budget friendly, but you can do it to fit any decorating scheme, any color scheme that you have. Like you see here, we did this beautiful blue and white, but like, look at the options. Like we're going to use paper napkins to do these. You could do butterflies and flowers. Look at what an elegant plaid you could do, like a Ralph Lauren pumpkin. I want to make one of those. Other kinds of blue and white. Hi, Laurie. I love looking at the clearance bins at yes. the different shops to find pretty napkins. Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't this beautiful? I have a fun pink one I'm going to be doing soon. So not today, but soon. So stay tuned for that. But, you know, start beautiful. looking at the pretty napkins you have around and start to think of all the possibilities. And, you know, it's inexpensive. Yes. But it's beautiful. It is. One of the elements that I think really elevates this craft is the, because, um, you know, you've got the, the napkin on here and it looks beautiful, but the gold leaf that's on that. the stem, I mean, that really makes it magical yeah. to me. And it really gives it that high-end, elegant look, And but it's easy to do. It really is, you can do it for practically pennies. Um, and best of all, don't let me forget to tell them, Mom, that we have in our Maker Studio shop, the gold leaf is on sale. Ooh, on sale. It's well, on sale right now. And Hi, so if you buy two sets of gold leaf, you get the size for free. Oh, and the size nice. is basically the glue that you use. Um, and it's a special glue. It's not just like any glue. It's a special Hi, glue that adheres it to it. Hey, Patty, thanks for watching. So, and you guys, this stuff comes in so many beautiful colors. We're going to be using the gold today that you see here, but you could do copper, you could do silver, 
There's also a variegated copper. So Ooh. I know so many cool things that you can do with this. And as we get going into the holidays, we're going to be sharing some fun bling in the holidays projects with you guys. So it's great for you to go ahead and get this now. Like I said, we're going to be showing you in the coming weeks some amazing ways to add a little sparkle. Peggy said tall, tall is tall. on trend for Christmas. It is. Next year it will be prominent. The birds are more something. I can't read it. But anyway, they're still pretty. It's still, it is beautiful. And so that's what I love about this is that you can take items oh, hi, that you Rose. have. From the Philippines. Oh, hi, Rose. Thank you for watching. So, you know, you can take items that you have in your house and you can totally start to customize them, you know, without having to go out and replace all your decor. We can make something new. So we're going to jump into this. Let me get my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. Y'all know me. I can't see. So for this, you're going to need a pumpkin. Any kind of pumpkin will do. Now, I will tell you, I would recommend that, you know, you can have any pumpkins. Like, see all these different, so many possibilities, you guys. You can do big ones or little ones. Artificial pumpkins. Um, what? Artificial. Yeah, pumpkins. artificial pumpkins. I wouldn't recommend doing this with real pumpkins because, obviously, they're going to fall apart and, you know, just not be so they're not gonna last and these are gonna last forever so oh, birds are a more traditional take on the traditional twelve. yes yes they are Peggy and uh, Kai says when you do nautical fall you have to be creative that's right it, it's so true because you know like I blues and whites if you guys have seen my house tour you know that that works really well all right so let's jump in Hi, uh, Sherry. to this so hey Sherry all right, guys, so we're going to take a pumpkin. I do recommend if you have a darker pumpkin, like some of these, and by the way, you guys, you could do squash and gourds, all kinds of shapes, not just pumpkins. Um, but if you have something like this, I will say two things. One, you might want to put like a primer coat of light paint on it yes. to lighten it up. Because when you're working with these napkins, you know, when you get the, the deck transparent. of Yeah, they're going to get more transparent. So either plan to put multiple coats of your napkin on there or your decoupage paper on there. Or go ahead and do some kind of primer on it to get a light base for it. I also have this on the blog today and I have a link to some beautiful paper mache pumpkins that are totally ready to be um, uh, decoupaged. Decorated and um, you don't have to prep those in any way. But since this one we're gonna do today whee, is light colored, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just get started on it. Oh, and mom, the giveaway. Oh yeah, listen, this is cool. So the pumpkin that we make today, one lucky viewer is going to be able to win this. So I'm gonna make it for you. I'm gonna send it to you. So if you would like to have a chance to win this pumpkin that we are going to create, I want to ask you to please share a link to this video or tag a friend in the in the comments of this video and mom and I will like let the video sit for a couple days and then we're gonna come back in that's right and we're gonna pick a winner and we will ship this to you so you will have a little something special from our craft studio to your home so all you have to do to do that is um share the link uh, to this video or share a um, tag a friend Peggy, that's right. You could do it on wood cutouts and paper mache Christmas trees and paper yes. mache ornaments. So first thing we want to do Hi, is we want to remove the stems. So mom, can you see Let me here? Get in here? And Sorry. a lot of times they have this, uh, you know, something connecting it. So I'm just going to take some scissors and I'm going to clip that right off. Well, there you go. But don't throw this guy away because he's what we're going to do the gold leafing on. All right. So the nice thing about taking the stem off, because when the stem was on, I was going to have to be like trying to work around the stem. But now by taking the stem off, I'm going to be able to just put my whole napkin right over like this. Cool. And I'm going to end up with this seamless, you know, you're not going to see any kind of seam where the stem is. So it's, it makes it look very professional, even though we're doing it at home, it's all pro. So take your stem off and remove that. What we're going to do first, because we want to, um, when you're working with gold leaf, you want to do what's called allow it to come to tack. And that can take a few minutes. So we're going to go ahead and first start putting the size. So I'm going to dip the brush in here. We're going to start putting the size on the stem. And, you know, this stem is, is pretty and we could almost leave it if we want to. But I really love the look of gold. I do too. 
And so we're gonna, you know, put that on there. So I'm just brushing this on. And you know, you don't wanna brush it too thick, but you wanna make sure you've got it on there. You'll notice when you're working with size, it goes on kind of milky, milky white, but then you're gonna know it's ready when it comes to tack, which means it's going to turn more transparent. So we're gonna get this on here, and then we're just gonna set this aside while we get doing our other stuff. So it can be working, doing what it needs to do while we're doing our other steps. Okay. So I'm going to set that down right over there out of the way and then I'm going to put the top on that. This is messy work, I will tell you that. So I'm going to grab my Mod Podge and I'm going to open this up. Do you guys like doing Mod Podge projects? I do. Have you done any? Tell us, like we'd love to know what are some Mod Podge product, projects that you've been doing lately. So I'm going to start, while you're telling us about that, I'm going to start brushing the Mod Podge on the pumpkin. Now I'm not going to cover the entire pumpkin in one go. I'm going to do this top section. Wouldn't these pumpkins be a beautiful gift to oh, give? Oh yeah, I would love that. I mean, they look expensive. They do. They look very high end and elegant and like one of a kind. So affordable. They are totally one of a kind because no two are ever going to turn out the same. And so see, we're just getting this on the top. And I'm not putting it on too heavy. Like some of these where I've got some little like pulls of it, I'm gonna come pull that out a little and get that on there. Okay, so we've got this top section on. My napkin is ready. Now if your napkin came with different um, pieces like you know plies, layers. you would take those layers off and just have the, the top napkin. This napkin that I'm using only has one. Um, and there is a link on the blog, so if you go to the blog, celebratingeverydaylife.com, on today's post, you'll see, the, uh, you'll see the links to this and all these details. So we're going to lay it on the top, and some people, you can cut off the corners if you want to, like make it a circle. It's up to you. I like to just start pressing it in, and then if you need to, as you're coming, because every pumpkin is going to be different, if you're starting to get some gapping like that, you can just... Pick it up, we're gonna take the scissors and we're going to like cut some slits into it. And you can kind of work around your patterns if you want to. Jenna Lee, I remember when I discovered it too. I was mod podging shoes. Woo! <laughs> That's some fun crafting. Wow. I love that. So again, you Thanks, know, we're gonna Peggy. we're gonna cut some strips in. What's Peggy saying to I us? I love your magazine. Oh, Peggy, thank you. What a blessing. Thank you. We love to hear that. We're. It does have, does it have dragonflies on there? It yeah. does. Oh, lovely. This has text and dragonflies. So I'm just making some slits in here to give me some room to work. And I'm trying to cut around the, the, the pattern a little bit. Okay, so now, because see, we don't have the glue down here. So now I'm going to come a section at a time, and I'm going to come in. And I'm going to start brushing in like that. Hi, Gwen. Hey, Gwen. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Somebody's going to win this pumpkin, girl. That's it's right. We're making good. this for you. So please be sure to tag, tag a friend and, share, it. Um, and share, share a link to this video. And maybe I'm making this pumpkin for you. Wouldn't that be fun? We're always looking for ways to be a blessing to you guys. And share. Because y'all are such a blessing to us. Now, see here, we've got some gaps. So I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to put a little bit in there and just press it down. And then I'm going to start coming over it, too. Oh, yeah, that's the Getting Mod it in there. They are cute, aren't they? So then I'm going to just keep working my way around, coming around, coming around, pressing it in. Magical. Isn't it, though? Thanks, Peggy, I think for those, sharing and tagging. Those plaid ones would be gorgeous. I mean, that would just be like a Ralph Lauren fall holiday to me. We've got a, a fun project we're going to be sharing with you guys pretty soon that we've partnered with the Home Depot on, and we'll be telling you oh, more yeah, about that. Oh, yeah, that's going to be cool. So, so much coming up, you guys. Hi, Allison. And if you haven't, uh, you know, been over to the blog yet, make sure you hop over there. Uh, we've written out this complete tutorial for this for you on this and given you all the, the details on the supplies, the napkins, 
that we've used here. So if you love this blue and white napkin with these beautiful birds and flowers, hydrangeas insects. and stuff, insects, dragonflies, butterflies, if you love this one, we show you right how to get your very own version of it. I'm just brushing this on. And again, you know, when you're doing match to match, tell them, Mom, it's not about perfection, is no, it? No, no. But not. it sure does look cool in the end. It does. It really does. So we're almost done getting this on the top coat. Woo! Work fast. Go faster, Jennifer. Go faster. <laughs> you're doing great. And, you know, when you're doing it home, not on a live, you can be a little more leisurely about how you're doing it, but... We want to get moving. But isn't it fun that this could be your pumpkin? So remember to share a link. And don't forget, you know, the gold leaf is really what I think really gives it this extra special something. Which, by the way, tell them about the gold link thing. Oh, yeah. While, while you're doing that, That's might as right. well. The gold leaf is on sale right now, you guys. If you buy two packages of gold leaf, and if you want to have a link to that, just drop a comment real quick and say, you know, uh, tell me about the gold leaf or just type gold leaf. And um, Thanks, mom Rose. and I will send you a, a private message with the link to that so that you can get your gold leaf. Because I'm telling you guys, mom, tell them, aren't we going to be blinging in the holidays? Well, I just love gold. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I love it because it's something that you can buy and then find so many uses for Oh yeah, I love that. I so love that. many uses. So, okay, so I'm getting this in here. So now you'll notice that we've still got this bottom section. Hi, Gloria. So if you were feeling like, you know what, everybody's only going to see the top, you could stop here if you want to, if your pumpkin allows. <laughs> but because we are making this for you. We're going to make it good. We're going to do the whole thing. So if you needed to, you could take and just go over the bottom and just wrap it up to the top. But because you'll notice with this napkin, see how the pattern is like a mirror of itself? So I'm going to take and cut this down the middle so that we're not going to have too much kind of randomness with our pattern with some of these birdies being totally upside down. So we're gonna look and our birds are facing that way. So we're going to lay this over the top here. Now, when we're doing this one, so we're going to put some Mod Podge on here. Now, you notice on the top, we didn't really trim pieces of the napkin away. Oh, they would be beautiful at a wedding. Oh, my gosh. Magical. And you know what? Inexpensive. That's the thing. I love a lot of bang for the buck. And what a fun craft to do, like to get the family together to make these. What a special memory. You know, you'd get extra helpers, but everybody would have the joy of, you know, getting together and crafting. I love that idea. Okay, so we've got our, na our napkin cut. We're going to put this over it, and we're still going to probably end up with a couple of blank areas. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do with those. So... On the top, when we did the top napkin, we didn't really cut away pieces. Like we just sliced it and we, um, you know, kept wrapping the whole pumpkin. But on this one, we're gonna see that there's some areas over here that we don't need all these pieces. So I'm just gonna, you know, look at this, see where I still have coverage. I gotta cut to at least there. So I'm gonna put my finger there. And now I am just going to come in and I'm gonna cut away some of this detail that's here. Can I get this whole bird? I think I can get the bird too. So I'm going to trim him away and then I'm going to hang on to that. I'm not going to throw that away. Okay, you guys. So we're going to come in. We are getting this on here because now, and we're going to brush over. So let's do this other side. So now if there are some spots that we've missed, and again, try and keep your details if you can, like these. Let's cut around this dragonfly and this butterfly. Okay, and we're going to just come, make sure we got a little bit of Mod Podge underneath there, and brush it down. Okay. Wouldn't some ornaments be beautiful in this? You know, I always love to do a blue and white Christmas tree. I think I should be doing some ornaments. What do you think, Mom? I love blue and white, too. I just think... I know. The very, the, um, thanks, Allison. Southern Living magazine cover that I did a few years ago 
I chose to do blue and white because it was my mom's favorite. <laughs> yeah, I do love blue and, and white. I was so excited when it ended up on the cover of the magazine. It was so special because, you know, it was Southern Living and it was my mom's favorite and just so fun. So see, we've got this little gap piece here. So look, I'm, I'm going to put some glue on here and I'm just going to come piece this in. And that's the beauty of the decoupage is that we can piece pieces in. So you can go around and just brush on there and they get they look almost invisible and they do it just starts to seamlessly mold and meld into the pumpkin and so you can look around if you have some little spots where things are sticking up you just come back with your brush and your glue and brush on there and then just you know go around the whole pumpkin and do that so I'm gonna let that sit and dry a little bit while we're doing this and we're going to come back to our and again, save these because, you know, you could use these on other projects too. So let's come back and give our stem a little look and see. So the best way... She'll, she'll tell you about the napkins in a private message. Yeah, I will definitely. I'll drop you a link in that. We'll send you that. So the best way to know if your size is ready is to take your ring finger because uh -huh. it's the gentlest touch that you have and put it on and see... See, it's still wet. It's not pulling away. You want to wait till you have kind of this gentle tug on the stem, and that's how you're going to know it's ready. So we want to accelerate this a little bit. So we might get the hair dryer out because um, I really want you guys to see how easy. You know, Jenna Lee, my is. my mother had blue and white dishes from Germany that she I loved, did. and that's where I started loving blue and white. She had some china. It was, I'll turn the you can look at me. Anyway, it was beautiful and I loved it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> do, uh, do you guys collect blue and white? We collect it now. Yeah, we do. Now, when you're going to use a hair dryer, I'm going to tell you real quick. When you're going to use a hair dryer on this kind of thing, don't put it right up to it. You want to keep it about six to eight inches away because you're not trying to scald it and hurt yourself or overdo it. So, you know, keep it about six to eight inches away. I feel it coming to tack so fast already. Can you use outdoor Mod Podge on this? Wait, what? Outdoor Mod Podge. Yes. You yes. Could, yeah, you could. And yes. now if you're asking, like, if there is an outdoor type of Mod Podge, there might be. Um, now, if you're asking, would you um, use, put these outside, that... I don't know about Maybe with the outdoor Mod Podge, because she's a wreath maker, Ooh. and so she could use, I think you could if it's, I think the yeah. outdoor one has waterproofness. If it has, so, well, because you know? it, it's, it's a glue, so it's yeah. going to waterproof. Um, but, hi, Melanie! Hi, Melanie! Say hi to Dave for me and your baby girl. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Okay, so we are just about Melanie, there. Melanie, your picture's so beautiful, girl. Whatever. Woo-wee! Oh, I also want to tell you guys too, while this is drying, um, we have Oh, an there event is an outdoor Mod Podge. Oh good. Okay. Thanks for telling us. Share I love it on share it on a on a comment and we'll get people to do it. Hey Melanie. Um the uh the um we have an event coming up, you guys, November second and third. We have a very special event coming up in Virginia. It's yep. going to be at Valley Road Vineyards, and you can come be with mom and I and our friend Amy Howard is coming to town too. So if you would love to come craft, create, and connect with us, mark your calendar November 2nd and 3rd in uh, Afton, Virginia, so near Charlottesville. We are having a very special event. And if you'd love to know more about that event, just type event into the comments and we will private message you I love more details. her too, Peggy. She's a, what a wonderful She's woman. She's an amazing woman. What a wonderful woman. Okay, guys. So okay. another reason that you want to make sure that your size is come to tack, because if you have an area that has not come to tack, bad news. It will never dry. Isn't that crazy? It will never, never dry because, you know, it's metal under here. So um, you want to make sure it's come to tack. And so see now, ah, we have that nice little gentle tug. See that? Perfection. Okay. All right. Here so we we're go. going to take our gold leaf. Now, I'm going to fold back the top of this 
and I'm going to hold it with that, okay? I'm gonna try not to really put my hands too much on it. Now, if you want, you can cut this into strips. So I'm actually gonna take a piece because I may not need all of that. Um, and I'm gonna grab this guy. I'm gonna grab a piece underneath it. Hi, Rebecca, welcome. Hi, Rebecca, thanks for watching. We're on the adventure of a lifetime, You guys, ladies. remember, we're making this for you guys. So yeah, it's a you, giveaway. If you would like to win this pumpkin, please share a link to this video, tag a friend in this video, and who knows? We might be making this for you. You might win. So, all right, so I cut a little strip away. I'm gonna fold that away um, so it's not, not in the way. Okay, so we are going to just start rolling this. I don't know what got on there. It's live crafting. Okay. <laughs> So I'm gonna set this on there. There is no wrong way to do this and there are lots of ways to do this. But especially since my hands are a little bit sticky from the Mod Podge, I'm trying to not touch it too much. And so, the oil on your hands. You yeah, the oil. So see, I've got it on there. So now I'm gonna take this tissue paper and help just Press mold it on. it on there. And then I'm gonna take some of this off. I'm trying to make sure y'all can see this. I'm trying to follow her hands know, with the follow camera. my hands. Um, Look, the gold leaf's like, no, I don't want to go anywhere. Um, I'm going to put a little piece down here, okay? And let's see, we'll put a little bit up top. Now, the secret to making the gold leaf, see how it looks like a little bit, can you see like how it's just like a little bit wrinkly? Watch the magic. I'm going to take a little piece of this and I'm going to start burnishing it on there. And that's going to help. You could use a brush to help get it into the nooks and crannies too. And if you have little spots like that, like just press pieces of the gold leaf into it. Ooh, it's magic. really forgiving. Um, so, you know, press it where you need it to be. We want some up here on the stem. Forget it, I'm just using my fingers now. Do y'all ever get desperate when you're crafting? Especially crafting live. And Hello. crafting live with people and it's like, forget it. I'm just going in. We're going in. Okay. So it kind of looks like a hot mess, but then it starts to come together. And I want this to be like a little bit crackly. Like see how there's like some little cracks and stuff because you know, it makes it look more interesting and- Oh, rotate my phone, sorry. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We're getting in there. And you're gonna notice, look, I've got some pieces of gold falling on the counter, right? Don't throw those away. Keep a little container handy that you can put your gold pieces in. In fact, I should be doing this over that to help stuff fall into there. Because, you know, you can use these pieces on yeah. future projects. Plus, if you like jewelry making, I thought it would be cute too to even get, like, you know how they have those little glass containers now that you can put a stopper in? Oh, yeah. And I thought, how pretty, like pirate treasure or fairy tr gold dust to put, fill that with, you know, little bits of gold leaf. I just think that would be lovely. I All agree. Right. So we've pretty much gotten our extra bits off and we've rubbed it on there. Now you'll see some pieces that are really wide like this are gonna be easier to shine up than others. But just, you know, make sure it's all adhered. I think it is, I think we're in business. And so now the last step is for us to take the uh, glue gun. So I have a glue gun right here. Peggy said, stretch a Ziploc over your bowl to catch the extra. Good idea. Great idea, Peggy. All right, so we're going to just take the glue gun. We're gonna put that on the bottom and we're gonna find our center again and put this in. We're gonna press it for a second or two and we're gonna let that set. And if it needs a little more glue in a certain spot, just come in, put it in there, it's simple to do. And then we're gonna let the whole thing just dry, okay? We've tried to kind of move along because we were on live with you, but. There, that's a nice shot. How fabulous! Isn't that so pretty? So, yo, oh, that's lovely, and that's the giveaway. That's the giveaway. Um, we're so excited to have made this for one of you. 
So, um, you know, we couldn't do what we do without you guys. Mom, That's right. I really, really appreciate Thank you. Thank you, ladies, so much. So please remember to tag a friend or share the video to, to be win the pumpkin. To win There's the pumpkin. There's the pumpkin. And the gold leaf is on sale right now, you guys. And I'm telling you, we are going to be sharing some really, really fun projects coming up because we're going to bling in the holidays. Let the adventure continue. So now is your chance to get, you can get the gold leaf, you can get the silver leaf, you can get the copper leaf, the variegated leaf. Here's mom, here's some of them so we can show them. Like you guys, it's beautiful, and if you buy two of these now, you get the gold, the sizing. There's a good amount in there too. For free, and you know when you're working with a fine quality gold, um, a metallic foil, I guess I should say, like a gold leaf or copper leaf or silver leaf. The the what you're using, like the size that you're using with it, really really matters. So thanks, Jenna Lee. This is a great opportunity to do this to get quality stuff that is going to allow you to make gorgeous high end looking decor for your home for mere pennies. So we love it. We love crafting and getting together with you guys. We um, just thank you. So remember, um, if you want to know about the gold leaf, drop us a comment saying you know. Gold Leaf, tell me more, and we will private message you. And if you want to win this pumpkin that we've made, make sure you share it with your friends. Share a link to the video, okay? Sorry we say it so much, but you know what? Sometimes you have to repeat things because we want you all to win something. Well, people are jumping into the video at different points. We yeah. know that. So anyway, mwah, we love you guys. Yes. Thanks for watching. Mwah. And have a great afternoon. Thanks, Peggy. We're glad you did too. Bye-bye.